black dads and how we view black dads in the media, we're fed a very shallow, narrow point of view where they're either absentee fathers or they don't have the willpower to get involved in the kid's life. Don't Black Dads are changing that conversation by talking about the highs and the lows of parenthood and creating their own network when sometimes society doesn't provide the network. So Don't Black Dads, we kind of started about a year ago um, on a Father's Day um, and it started off just from a, a, a us getting together and wanting to talk to each other about the lives that we had, being fathers, how do we you know, do certain things and how can we connect and then we decided it was really rich information and then we created a podcast. Being a young black man in the UK, you know, if you had kids you were going to have several kids in different places. Um, that was what the kind of the, the ideology that was impacted and kind of put down onto me what I, what I as at a young age, perceived it to be. I experienced a miscarriage, my wife experienced a miscarriage last day, and you don't quite know, on a daily basis, you feel a certain way, and people, no one really talks about it. I don't have any other groups like this, and then you realise that actually, people are going through things and not sharing it. We want to empower people to be able to feel that they can share this stuff. You know, that they, can't, they can talk about a lot of these taboos that you might not want to talk about, that in your daily lives that you can't talk about. This is a place where you can come and do it. There's always this perception in society that black men don't talk. But when you wake up in the morning and you think you've woken up early at, seven, at six, seven o'clock, and you've got 150, 200 messages from, black, from, other, from other guys basically talking about everything, you can't tell me black men don't talk because they, they talk more than anyone else.